If asked to come up with a list of animals that pose a threat to humans, you'd probably think of carnivorous animals like bears, big cats, and even dogs, as well as herbivores like bulls and even horses. But sloths? How can something that is, in addition to being famous for having painfully slow movements, a relatively small animal that mainly eats leaves in the wild be dangerous? But as I've said in previous videos, all animals with teeth can bite, and yes, sloths do have surprisingly formidable dentition. Amariana Ramon, a teenager from Michigan, found this out the hard way. That's right, she was bitten by a sloth. We're trying to take the picture and then it bites me. There was blood dripping down my arm. Sloths have become somewhat of a trendy animal to desire to be around. Christian Bell had her famous meltdown over the thought of seeing a sloth in person. <laughs> and the long-limbed, strange creatures can be seen throughout social media. Oh, we talk about this all the time. I'm going to one day. What happens if you get a sloth now? <laughs> <laughs> this is happening! <laughs> I can't breathe! Oh my god! Some even being kept as pets, although they are relatively difficult to care for, with high humidity requirements. Sloths are actually xenarthans, and their closest living relatives are armadillos and anteaters, and they have some of the slowest metabolic rates among mammals. The strange appeal that sloths have to the general public has led to the creation of events such as pay-to-pet sloth encounters held by various zoos and other institutions. One of these encounters was offered at the Custom Creatures Pet Shop in Saginaw Township for the price of $49.99. Sloths were Ramon's favorite animal, and meeting one was a longtime dream of hers, so the encounter was a must. Ramon got to meet, pet, and feed the unique creature. However, reportedly when she was feeding the sloth apple slices, it suddenly bit her upper right arm through her shirt. It was a strike like a snake, Ramon's mother said. There were two puncture wounds and blood was running down her arm. Humans. Amariana showed me the scar from her sloth bite. Here's the first puncture hole. And then here's the... The mother-daughter duo didn't notice the bleeding until they got to their car. They informed the pet shop workers of the bite, and the staff treated Ramon with antibiotics and took her to the hospital, where she received preventative rabies treatment. This is a standard protocol when a person is bitten by an animal that is either not up to date with its rabies shots or the species has no approved vaccine available. The only way to ensure someone is not at risk for rabies is for the animal to be tested, but this test would require that the sloth be killed. Ramon was devastated as she was concerned that the sloth would be put down for biting. However, the sloth who was named Sid was just ordered to be quarantined for 30 days. Oftentimes, people are quick to assume animals are just killed left and right for biting, but this is actually a very rare occurrence. Mainly, I only hear of animals being put down if they are in the process of attacking or guarding a person's body. Obviously, that is not an issue with sloths, and I can pretty much guarantee they are not at risk for that. Also, the owner of the pet store has claimed that Ramon wasn't following instructions when she was bitten. He said that she got too close to the animal and it mistook her arm for an apple. But this was not the first time a sloth managed to inflict injury. In fact, as recently as 2021, yet another sloth named Sid reportedly bit a child's finger, quote, down to the bone at Charleston Sloth and Exotics in South Carolina. So, have we all been deceived? Are sloths actually dangerous to interact with? Maybe we need to halt sloth encounters immediately to protect the public. Uh, no, you can stop your sensationalized headline right there. Contrary to what many people are aware of, sloths can walk upright, swim, and yes, they have teeth and they can bite. This has absolutely nothing to do with them being a so-called undomesticated animal. Cats, dogs, hamsters, and rabbits all have bitten people before. Yet we always have this mentality that it must be due to this being a wild and unpredictable animal. Ramon also assumed that Sid and all sloths must hate being touched because of the incident. Now this teen has a warning. Sloths can be cute and cuddly, but they do not like to be touched by humans. Some animals can get a little excitable when being fed, 
and they don't always care if they bite the food item or you if your arm happens to get in their way. Food aggression is also a possibility, and this is something often seen in dogs. People are surprised that sloths have a moment of quickness when their slowness is misinterpreted as a high level of tameness or docility. We have to remember that many animals use their mouths to communicate and navigate their interactions with people. A bite doesn't always mean aggression or even that an animal hates being interacted with. But not every animal is overly concerned with whether or not they injure the person feeding them. So what really occurred here? It's impossible to know for sure. But does this mean we need to ban animal encounters? Or should we ban every recreational activity that has some level of risk? How'd you get him here? A lot of convincing, a lot of phone calls. This is the greatest day of my life! You're my best friend in the world. If you ever need a kidney, I have two. I would hope that people wouldn't want to cancel out the opportunity for others to have these experiences. Unlike encountering a fully grown tiger, you're not going to die by petting a sloth or another similar sized creature. I would think we as a society can accept the risk of these superficial bites as long as they remain uncommon and participants understand that a bite or scratch is an inherent risk of interacting with any animal that has teeth or claws.